What's going on, guys? Welcome to episode 59 of the Taste Cast, our weekly podcast where we talk about things, react to things, do a bunch of random shit. My name's Seth. I'm Chevy. And I'm Chris. And a uh, quick reminder to make, make sure to play Trackmania Turbo and Mad Max. Both are free on PlayStation Plus. You can play those. Come back at the end of the month for Plus Club. Talk about what you thought of those games. We'll talk about what we thought of them. And our game of the month is Persona 5, uh, a JRPG that uh, you get to drive a bus in. And uh, it will take you 500 hours to get through the tutorial. Play that, come back at the end of the month for Game of the Month. We'll be talking about our experience with that game. Let us know yours, of course. And we have a Discord, so go down in the description box and hit the button and talk to us uh, anytime, really. Uh, but yeah, with that, with every episode, we typically talk about what we've been playing. Uh, so yeah, uh, real quick too, I want to thank everybody who checked out my review. Uh, that was uh, really fun for you, for me to make. I want to make more of those. Uh, you guys seem like you're into it, so that's that's pretty cool. Um, and I encourage, obviously, Chris, Chevy, and even Josh. Yes, you, Josh, uh, to do reviews as well as you want. Uh, if you want, just make sure that if we are doing those, uh, we do grade things now. So, like we've been doing for a while now. So yeah. Uh, so what we've been playing. Uh, I'll jump in first because uh, I got like three things. So of course I've been playing Far Cry 5, uh, beat it, did the review. Uh, make sure to check it out if you did not already. And um, what have I been doing in it? I've been kind of finishing up a lot of the stuff I've left undone, uh, which always just kind of gets me to the point of just like running around the woods shooting random things for like an hour. And then I'm like, I should probably do something else. Um, their event just happened where you had to um, kill things with fire but you can't use the flamethrower or what was the other one? I don't remember. There, You couldn't use two things, but you could use like um, the incendiary ammo for shotguns, uh, bone arrow. No, yeah, you couldn't use fire arrows. So that was the other thing you couldn't use. I don't remember. doesn't matter. Torch. Uh, I just went around with buckshot, shot everything, lit it all on fire. The new one that's happening right now is like you got to play the arcade for like 40 minutes, which is easy because I already – fucking hop in there and play anyway so that's kind of cool uh last event also gave like a special golden flamethrower it's pretty cool looking and an outfit and this one i believe uh <laughs> it's pretty dope i don't like the flamethrower in far cry but it's pretty dope and uh this one's actually it's really funny a lot of people like two days before this event started they're like uh they're like where's the vector I bring the vector back bring the vector back well the thing you get for this as a reward is the vector from the last uh couple far cries so it's actually cool to see like new guns coming and not just new reskinned guns. Mm -hmm. So uh, pretty cool. Still really enjoying Far Cry. I'd like to play the arcade with some people and I'd like to work more on the arcade uh, because it's really robust. Uh, also been playing a shitload of fucking Nino Kuni 2. That's pretty much all I've been playing. Um, I'm playing it right now while we're filming. It's just in my room <laughs> on right now. I'm just accruing that fucking money. And uh, Gilders. And uh, I think I can accrue like up to 80,000 guilders now. King guilders, whatever the fuck it's called. So I'm just accruing that shit up. That game's really fun. Um, I think I'm on the seventh chapter out of nine. So I'm getting there. Uh, and yeah, it's fun. I'm having a blast with it. I think the funnest part about it is uh, just all the micro shit. I mean, there's a lot to it. There's literally a point there where... Um, I had to stop and start like upgrading a bunch of stuff in my uh, kingdom and like kind of stop my progression. I was fighting things that was almost like 20 levels higher than me, which is ridiculous. I was level 42 killing 65s. And I was like, these fights are taking a little too long. So I was like, I should probably start fucking grinding out some levels. Um, but yeah, really loving that. I know you've played that a little bit too, Chris. Uh, what'd you think of it? Or where are you it's at? Fun. Uh, I think about probably like halfway through the game i've been i haven't played it for a while you can fly through that fucking game like i i mm -hmm. got up to like chapter six and that's where i had to stop and slow down mm -hmm. so like i said there's like nine chapters so it's pretty short although yeah. every review i read was like this game's like a 30 hour game and i'm like i'm going towards like 45 50 hours right now and but i feel like you you wouldn't get to touch any of the kingdom shit kingdom building if if you mm -hmm. just beat it in 30 hours like there's so much you'd be missing out on yeah i mean that's probably just like a basis for like just beating the game fast as you can yeah one well, as a reviewer too if you're getting paid to review things you probably got a lot of things on the fucking the agenda they have to beat after you beat that so you're probably just trying to get through it so mm -hmm. you can 
write out your fucking review. Mm-hmm. Um, you tired? A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I look at you, it's like. <laughs> we said, mm-hmm. I was like, oh shit, he's still here. Um, but yeah, uh, anything else you want to say on Neil Cooney? It's fun. I want more costumes for my characters, but that's just. I haven't gotten any. Yeah. I, like every character, it's like, would you like to change your costume? I'm like, yeah. And I click, it's like, you don't got none. I'm like, I'm fucking chapter <laughs> seven out of nine. Fucking, where are they? Let me know in the comments. Where are they? Um, and last game I played uh, was Radical Heights, which we actually talked about on Tasty Tuesday. It's a new uh, Battle Royal game. If you guys didn't catch that, make sure to go to watch uh, Taste Tuesday if you missed that. But um, it's a new Battle Royale game made by uh, Bosky Productions, guys who made uh, uh, Lawbreakers. Lawbreakers. I almost said Outlaws. Um, and, yeah, they kind of just, like, announced it and released it at the same time. Uh, we talked about it. I was, like kind of critical of it because I was like this looks fucking janky rushed kind of shitty they got a tall order they got to fucking do to like make this matter it's pretty fun I played it um I think it kind of like there there's a lot of work to fucking be done on that game um a lot of the buildings are like empty with nothing in them just squared rooms with grass on the ground it's that early in development so um but other than that, like it, it's got some cool systems. The the shooting feels good. I like the '80s aesthetic. Um, I was gonna say if you're familiar with battle royale games, but I'm sure you are. But like, as everyone knows, there's a circle and it keeps shrinking and it keeps shrinking to keep everyone like moving. In this, it's a squared uh, system that's multiple um, squares, and they'll start like glowing when they're getting ready to like shut down, and then they do, and it kind of uh, randomly uh will take out different squares until it so it's like up. sectors in the battle royale movies exactly yeah yeah it's closer to battle, battle royale than fucking the fucking mm. other games um which is kind of neat and then when you get down because i got to the last three it it the whole fucking like it's almost like an arena but the whole town goes dark like they turn the lights out and there's an announcer and he's like oh fucking here here it comes here's the main event and there's a spotlight over the last square and it's like like people are like there's ready to fight. I fucking was trying to trying to get across the water to that area and fucking I got shot. So um, that sucked. But uh, there's a lot of a lot of character to the game. Um, I think they could have something um, going with this as long as they're I don't know they stay creative with it. You can ride like all these games have like vehicles in them, but this one has like BMX bikes. You can like mm. jump them and like do like backflips and shit with them. Yeah. I know they... you, you did that a lot in like Daisy. Oh, red bikes. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. I goddamn would ride bikes all day in that game. Um, but this like, you can do a bunch of weird tricks and shit. And like, it has the whole, like you accrue money and you can put it in your, uh, ATM and I constantly every time I got like a hundred bucks I'd run to an ATM and put it in it and like I got like three thousand dollars I was like fuck and you can only deposit a hundred bucks at a time I was sitting there going I was like I hear gunshots and shit I'm like like I didn't spend any of it I just went and found guns uh so I'm a goddamn hoarder when it comes to money in that game but uh I actually can't wait to see where it goes um I definitely can tell that they're hoping you give them money uh, to buy um, clothes and aesthetics because they would have quite a bit. And it's kind of interesting because all the clothes you can buy with real money or if you discover them in the game, they'll randomly be in there. If you discover them, it unlocks them to be able to buy with in-game money. Oh, okay. Nice. So you have to discover. It's a weird system, but I'm like, this could work. I don't know if it will or not. But, uh, but yeah, overall, I mean, I, I, it's a lot better than I thought it was going to be, which is good because I don't want any game to suck. Mm-hmm. I looked at that, I was like, Ugh, and I played it, I'm like, Ugh, there's a lot of work to be done here, man, but this is pretty cool. Uh, also, another thing I wanted to bring up that, that I thought was really interesting, and I'm disappointed in you, GameSpot, because typically it's Kotaku that I have a problem with. They're very sensationalized and always posting shit to be edgy, and if you like it, they hate it, blah, 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 and vice versa. But GameSpot put out a fucking article that was like, a lot of players are upset and want to know why there's no female uh, um, uh, characters 
in fucking uh, Radical Heights. When you play the game and you go to where you get to pick a character, the game is in early, 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 early access. It's It has a male and female symbol. And on the female one, it says coming. It's coming. We're working on it. As soon as you start the game, it says that. Uh. And GameSpot's like a lot of people are upset and they want answers on why there's not. It's like, dude, there's no, there's literally no fucking issue here at all. The, the game is not done. It's not even out it's yet. It's not even fucking 50% done. Yeah. And the game tells you, hey, you're playing this. You might want to play female. Well, we're working on it. It's coming. And they're like, mm, I don't know. This is, this is this is something that needs to be answered. I'm like, it's been answered, dog. <laughs> if you played it longer than fucking the loading screen, you'd know. So I thought that was kind of ridiculous. I could probably go off on that for a while, but that was it's just so ridiculous. I, I There's not much to say. I mean, I don't think anybody could look at that and go, oh, I think they got a point. Um, so, yeah, that's what I've been playing pretty fucking quick. I've been playing Monster Hunter. You guys gave me the exact same face, the Robert De Niro. You guys were like, yeah, yeah, hmm, yeah. <laughs> Can't wait to see my face when I'm editing this. I don't know what the fuck it looks like. You've been playing what? Monster Hunter. That's it? That's it. No Persona 5 game of the month you picked? Mm. Nope. Persona 5 isn't having a spring event. <laughs> I mean... It, you could say there's an event, and it is spring. So yeah, no, I I just been playing Monster Hunter. I got my hunter rank in the seventies now. I couldn't tell you Fuck the yeah. exact number. Um, got all the event items except the one that came out as of recording, which is Mega Man uh, outfit for your Palico. I need to go do that still. And and it, it is worth mentioning. Uh, I've had a couple people say that they want us to talk about the Mega Man thing. Uh, We've watched the videos already, and if you haven't seen those, go check them out. But what do you guys think about the Mega Man outfit for Pelicos? I mean, I'm pretty indifferent about it, to be honest. It's just yeah. another thing they decided to add to the game. Um, I mean, I probably won't use it, but I don't use hardly any of the, the stuff, to be honest. Yeah, that, that game is more like... And Chris kind of touched on this last, uh, I think, Tastecast, saying that he just like feels like he's left behind or left out if he doesn't get all the event the trophies. things. Yeah, exactly. I can get behind that. Yeah, so I mean, like, I do use the Wiggler head and the Chicken head, but I have gone out of my way to use them and theme armor and weapons around those, um, just for the sake of being ridiculous. I mean, uh, me and Chris were running around as the Chicken duo, you know, just <laughs> as, as I called it, just running around being a bunch of ang- angry chickens. El so. Pollo Hermanos. So, <clears throat> the but, uh, Chicken Brothers. It did, however, uh, give me some. Uh, newfound uh, love for the sword and shield because I uh, didn't like it in previous games and it's actually a lot of fun in this one. So yeah, I've liked almost every weapon I've I've used in that game. They've done a really good job on just oh, making them all feel good so far for me. Who are the two I know? <laughs> great sword, great sword, and bug lance. So. What? <laughs> what? You don't like helicopters? What? I it just doesn't click for me when I, I'm using it the whole time. I just feel awkward and clumsy. So, dude, you just fucking relax and float around. And things die. I feel that way about the sword and shield because it just keeps attacking no matter what. So, is this Fair. true? Is this true? But I mean, <clears throat> with both weapons, I haven't really spent that much time with them. Um, so obviously, whatever mechanic there is to learn with them, I I just haven't done. And uh, I did a little bit with the, the great sword because of arena stuff, but um, it's just too slow for me. I was expecting that of the hammer as well, but the hammer actually flows pretty well, which is nice. So, yeah, you're like the third person in like the last month who said they like the hammer in that game. Which I mean, it can't it can't be that crazy, but like just to hear that over and over again, apparently, and it's all people who've like just tried it. So it just it makes sense when you're using it. Which at is least great. at least it, yeah, at least it works. Because like if you would have told me like oh use the hammer, I'd be like nah, I'm good. But like, <laughs> I'm not a hammer guy. Like, I I expected from the hammer what the great sword does, and vice versa almost. Yeah. So the great sword is a giant fucking meat cleaver that has like yeah. one move you're prepping for. Yeah. I don't know. It's heavy, dude. You fucking swing it. The fucking hammer looks heavy, and you just sit there and spin like a top. Maybe it's <laughs> hollow. <laughs> Most of the weapons look really heavy and you just kind of flail about the yeah. I think that I think that hammer is made of plastic. I think Maybe. it's like when you hit things. 
I don't know why that'd be the noise. I just like that noise. <laughs> why does the hunting horn make half the noise it makes? So. Ask Chris. He likes to jam out. I do, I too, do. now with my Wiggler head. Oh, God. Yeah. Um, I've been a bad monster hunter, and I've not done this event yet. What are you guys thinking so far about the spring event? It's cool. I hope they, they uh, not necessarily do the exact same thing, but I like that at the very least they go, here's all the events. <clears throat> yeah, I like that, too. It's been really nice to be able to just kind of like pick and choose what I want to do. So if I'm you know, making armor sets like I've been doing, and I'm like, oh, crap, I need armor spheres. The event's there. I don't have to wait for it. I don't have to go do the bounties and stuff. I can just spam that mission. I, will, I want to level. I can spam that mission. You know, um, mm -hmm. I can't do the stream shards because fuck tempered pickle, Joe. God, he's hard. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, no, it's cool. I uh, I hope they, they do, at the very least, the same... Uh, with whatever event they do next, but I, I really hope that they kind of expand um, a little bit as far as like stuff you can get. Though I was pleased to see that there was, um, what is it, the the outfit or whatever you can get for it. So Chris is lost. So. <laughs> <laughs> he agrees. Um, yeah. What are your thoughts on on the event and all this stuff? Um, it's a little overwhelming at first because of all the events that are present and trying to pick and choose which ones you want to do for what gear, what ones give gear. Um, but I think once you get the hang of it, it's really fun. Um, and it's nice. It kind of brings new life and do it again. Just kind of like, oh, so much to do. I don't have any time. I have to do it all. Mm -hmm. um, but it is fun. It's a lot of fun. And I hope they do future events like this. Um, maybe not so much as like all the events come back again, but, you know, a nice seasonal rotation of events would be nice. I think the all events thing is a good thing, though, because in previous Monster Hunters, you could download the quests and you always had them. And this, you can't do that. So at least with events, they're all accessible again. It's true. It's true. Yeah. Um, also, uh, the dailies, I think, was a great idea mm. um, because they introduced a higher armor sphere that you can get um, that you can only get by doing the dailies. It does uh, 200 points towards your next level for your armor. So. Oh, shit, really? Yeah, it's really huge. Yeah. So. Oh. <clears throat> and the fireworks are cool. Yeah. Yeah, they're little bombs you put on the ground, and they just start shooting off fireworks. Oh. Yeah, that's kind of, sadly, the big thing I was excited for is, like, I missed the days of, like, uh, PSO and PSU and, like, the events and, like, the, the places you're used to, like, looking different and having, like, cool little event things, like fucking fireworks and shit, so... Oh, one last side note. I bought all the emotes. All of them. <laughs> like the real money ones? Yeah. Yeah, I thought about it. The new dances are so fucking good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, I thought Chris froze. I think he did, actually, for okay. a second. <laughs> <laughs> he looked very, very determined. I was like... <laughs> it's um, his distaste for spending real money. Yeah. yeah, that's fair. I'm the opposite. Someone's, like, I'm like, I like you. Here's money. They're like, we haven't given you anything yet. I'm like, okay, I'll be back later to give you money. <laughs> you just let me know. Yeah, just let me know. <laughs> let me know when it comes out. Warframe. Uh, speaking of Warframe, Chris, what have you been playing? Mm, mm, mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Hello? Hello. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> well, we have audio. <laughs> oh, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> Could I lose it? Oh. Hit, hit the, uh, the camera button at the bottom of the screen and then uh, toggle it. God. Like I'm like, what are you even playing? He's fucking Welcome I'm back. out of here. Fuck this. <laughs> I didn't play anything this week. I'm fucked. I keep getting freezes on your on my end. Like the whole thing will freeze up and all audio will just stop. Yeah, I'm about to say like you stopped talking too. I was like, uh oh. Mm, mm, mm. Great. What have you been playing? Warframe. <laughs> uh, a lot of Warframe. Like a lot, a lot of Warframe. I have Hydroid and Hydroid Prime now. 
I almost nice. have all of Necros Prime. I almost have all of Valkyr Prime and uh, Zephyr Prime. I want Zephyr Prime. I've been farming a lot. Apparently. <laughs> and I decorated the dojo a lot because they had to do decorations. Really? Uh-huh. New they ones? They had Grenier themed ones and Corpus themed ones. Oh, shit. So I decorated the hallways outside of each of the uh, research center faction, respectively. Hmm. I'll have to go check that out. <laughs> <sighs> that's one game I always am like I need to go back and play that and like that's never going to change because I like I could always play that game but like I just never can I never get to <laughs> I mean I guess I could just do it mm. but just put a day aside for it yeah. yeah I gotta just like boot it up and once I start fucking playing it I'll stop thinking about like oh I should play this I'd be like oh it's fun yeah. but it's always that initial and like right now like Nino Kuni, like I never turn it off <laughs> like I, I leave for work and just l like keep it on and like my PS4 over like in an hour like we'll go into sleep mode and then when I come mm -hmm. home I got my money crew nice fucking like snatch it and then I'll like get on my computer and start doing stuff and just leave Neo Cooney on it's like an so, idle clicker game now dude yes. kind of like fucking I'm playing it when I'm playing other games I can't play other games on my PS. I wish I could just put it in the background and play other games on my PS4 while fucking while I just sat there and crewed my money for me. It's too bad uh, it's on your account because you do have pl two PlayStations. That is true. And then you could just log into a separate account, but you, yeah, it won't work now. Yeah, I learned that the hard way the other day <laughs> when I hooked it up for Cody, who didn't play shit, but um. Yeah, I accidentally like, bumped it and turned it on, and then all of a sudden, like the game I was playing, just shut the fuck off, and like, it's like you've been logged down. I'm like, god damn it, <laughs> dumbass system. It's convenient. Yeah, I never use the auto logger. I do. I forget there's even other fucking profiles on there. <laughs> Anything else? Warframe's cool. Uh, I've been playing Blizzard again. Mm -hmm. Uh oh. <laughs> yep, yep. I played uh I played Heroes of the Storm just kinda like here and there, kind of an idle thing. Um, but I played Overwatch recently because the new event launched. I heard it's, it's really just, good. It is. It's like the old one, um, where you have four characters who plays backstory. Um, but all the skins from the first one are back. And they did this thing where at least with one of the characters I know of, um, Widowmaker's skin, if you like pre-ordered the game her like talon skin is now available through loot boxes for the event because i got it so it's hmm. really weird that they made like stuff like you know, pot by the you know, special edition version or whatever for available in loot boxes but That's i guess weird. it's been it's been a long enough time though i think that that whole like lure of, like oh i've got this and you don't should relatively be over but i almost would not like to see that be standard because like if you pay for it, I feel like that's something like that's what you paid for. It almost mm -hmm. cheapens that you ever paid for that. Even like I, I and I can go either way with it really, because like I I can get on the side of like it's been like three years. You really fucking am worried about? Are, are you really worried about like that individuality you paid for three years ago? But at the same time, they still did pay for that or where the fuck? So like I was they, sure they spent their their money on on that knowing what they were getting. Yeah, so and I, you didn't. I. I, I actually agree with the aspect of it cheapens it i think the best way around that is to just modify it and then release a version like that because yeah. everyone's still kind of get even if the colors are just fucking different so i might have been wrong i correct myself on that one already oh okay <laughs> before the comments blow up that's that's the skin from last year i'm i was thinking of a different skin oh, okay mm. okay gotcha crisis avoided yeah. Except for the people who shut the video off and decided to comment anyways. Right when he said that, they're like, what the fuck? And they, they pause the video, talk shit, downvote, left. <laughs> All you do is watch five seconds later. Um, and he gives a fuck. Anyway. Um, it is a fun event, though. Um, it's waves, and you're kind of moving through the city, depending on fighting off waves of talent agents. But there's, you know the unique characters of the assassin and the sniper and the tank is what they call them. Um, but it's fun. I forgot who it was. It was somebody on Twitter. One of the game publications where the fuck was like, um, was saying it's the best overwatch event that's ever happened. I mean, 
it's I think on the same level as the last event they did with uh, Origin Stories. Yeah. Um, which is, I mean, it's not like it's a bad thing. It's really, really fun. Mm. But I don't think it's like better than the other ones. That's fair. Yeah. Yeah, I figured they would come out and people would be really like pumped about it anyway and probably say stuff like that. So, but I mean, like if they're doing anything at all, like to change it up and add story to it. I think it'll be well received since people like the characters anyway to experience anything that, that even remotely resembles what they know of those characters or want to know about them is going to be uh, enjoyable. So, Absolutely. If you're looking for any of the backstory on what Blackwatch is or what happened to the events leading up to Overwatch, it's really intriguing. <laughs> as soon as you're like, if anyone's interested, I see Chevy's like... <laughs> <laughs> He's just fucking. He's not even answering for himself. He's answering for everybody. <laughs> is anyone interested in that? No, nobody is. Let's move on. Um, I also played uh, Monster Hunter with Chevy, mm -hmm. and I think I'm rank 97 now. Oh, nice. you're so close. So close. So close. Hundred. Oh. I'm about to say 10. Um, 98. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you're getting there. Yeah. Once it's 98, you're almost 99, buddy. The last achievement you get for leveling is at 100. So. Oh, really? Yeah. That's it? There's not like level 700 nine, achievement? Nine, or 999? Like they put that achievement. The achievement hunters would fucking scream if that was the achievement. <laughs> Work harder, dude. There's yeah, games you still that get have them to out. Put, how many hours have you? You said you got about 300 hours in Monster Hunter now? Probably pushing close to 400. Bleh. 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 I'll say I just broke 200, so. <laughs> I think the last I checked, I was like at 160, but that was from like five years ago when I played the game. It flies by, man. It's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, I crewed that in like the week. I, I fucking stayed home. So, I mean, like, I was just nonstop fucking playing it. So, it's real easy to just keep playing that. Yeah. Uh, and actually talked with uh, you and Josh about it at work, how like it's one of like two games, I think, that I can just play and and not get bored because oh. the combat is so good and the other one was warframe mm -hmm. both those games i just enjoy the actual act of playing it enough that game does give me like a like a warframe vibe when it comes to just like doing tasks mm -hmm. in it there's a lot mm -hmm. of things that you're always working towards so you can just kind of do whatever it's, great, it's yeah. benefiting you in some way just like warframe mm -hmm. everything you do is benefiting you in some way yep and i like it it's pretty neat. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty all right. I just casually put that much time into all my games. So I put I casually put like an hour here and an hour there in each game that I have, except for Nino Cooney. That's my idle clicker game. And uh, I've been playing. I played one of the plus games. Oh shit! Oh shit! I played both of them. Uh, one. Which one? The uh, racing one. Track uh, Mania Turbo. Yeah, that one. Track Mania Turbo. Mm -hmm. That one. Yeah, I'm gonna try to knock out one of them this weekend. So. Do that one. This was Seth said. He said it was it was pretty easy to just play. Well, each each thing that you play lasts less than like a minute. So I mean, the game is like I mean you can get a pretty good chunk of experience of and not experience but like actual like experiencing the game fairly quickly not to say you should like barely play the game but like right. it's not an investment game i mean it's like like i, like I said before it feels like like kind of like trials in the sense of like you just get in you try and do the track as best you can if you're like me you try and beat your own time and then you fucking move on to the next thing so and we'll be talking about that at the end of the month uh yeah, I <clears throat> going back real quick. I played that as well. Um, I also played Mad Max. Uh, for some reason, I have saved data for Mad Max, and I own it on PC. So I don't get that. It's not the same file, though. So at some point, either I, and I don't remember it, which is 100% fucking very possible, or somebody <laughs> else, which is very unlikely, played on my profile. In fact, I would bet money no one played on my profile because i'd fucking anyone knows me is not going to do that but uh I, I i don't remember playing it on ps4 ever but apparently fucking i got like i don't know 45 minutes to an hour into the game well, at least you get to skip the intro i don't know i, I fucking skipped the tutorial 
So now I'm playing, I'm like, uh... So I'm gonna, like, restart. I don't know. Yeah. Play... Is that it? Yeah, I think that's it. That's it. Alright. Let us know in the comments, what have you played uh, lately? And uh, anything you would recommend us to play? Although, we have plenty of things to play this month with fucking... You know, we're gonna fucking track me and shit. Um, but yeah, uh, yeah. So uh, we have three videos. I didn't expect us to go through that that quickly. Um, to watch, and you probably guessed from the thumbnail or the title or something, unless I just left them blank, which would be weird. But I've done it before. Uh, or YouTube has. Or YouTube has. YouTube likes to fuck us. Um, but yeah, first video we're gonna be watching. Uh, a new character has been revealed. For Soul Calibur Six, uh, Siegfried. So, what did they say when when a character joins or whatever? It's a, a new like soul. Oh god, I can't, I can't keep the fucking catchphrases of the game. A new soul brother joins the fray. I don't think that's it, but yeah, I wish. Soul man. Um. Real quick though, I was watching a thing and this guy was talking about some of the stuff that's been revealed in like Japanese magazines about Soul Calibur and they did confirm, even though a bunch of people already know this, but just letting people know who don't know, uh, Keelik and uh, Gro are the main characters of the game. Um, there is going to be two storylines you need to play through. They don't say anything more than that, so we don't know what that is. Um, probably you get to play as one or two of those guys through a storyline campaign mm -hmm. or whatever, but I think they said, like, th these were grand, grand stories you get to play through. Geralt's part of one of them, though, which is weird, because none of the bonus characters typically are part of the campaigns. Right. So, mm -hmm. in a weird way, and they might be doing it on accident, but that's making Geralt part of fucking canon. Canon, yeah. <laughs> so, unless weird. it's like a Bizarro World fucking uh, storyline. Story, yeah. Uh, yeah, and uh, they talked a little bit about um, like unlockables, which sounds a lot like uh, Soul Calibur. They also said that there's other new characters they haven't shown yet, but they're not talking about them yet. And uh, yeah, I think that's about it. But real quick, uh -huh. did you see the the piece that IGN put up? I think it was for PAX East or whatever, where uh, people got their hands on the game and got to play it. Uh -uh. The <laughs> Shaking her head because I was really frustrated with it, but they're like, "See what fans of the game have to say about it after they play it." They talked to like three fucking people, and they were like, "Yeah, no, it's cool. It's like you know, it's like Soul Calibur." <laughs> I was like, "Is this the whole fucking video?" I mean, that's huge praise in my opinion. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ! I, all I want is it to be like Soul Calibur. If it's not like Soul Calibur, I'm gonna be really fucking upset. Um, it was a waste of my life. Oh, one more thing too. They said that I thought was really interesting is they said the the reason they're restarting is because. It's going to come out on the 20th anniversary of the series, meaning that what they were saying is like people who are 20 who played Soul Calibur are now in their 40s. So I think it's a good time to go back, keep it familiar for the people who've been playing for 20 years, but for new people have a new place to start from, which I thought was kind of an interesting way to put that. Because typically you don't have to like explain a reboot, pretty much get it. But like for them to say in that way, I'm like, yeah, that's kind of like if you guys nail it, that's good. If you fuck it up, I'm going to be like, you should have never done this. It's just a convoluted way of saying we're old. Yeah, whatever. I was like, I was like, damn, dude, 40 year olds fucking play this shit. And I'm like, I'm 31, dude. It's fucking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm getting up there too. So fucking, I guess I. It's just weird how my brain was like 40 year olds. And I'm like, I'm in my 30s. So. Goddamn 40 year olds playing my fucking games. Listen in the comments if you know any 40 year olds who play your games. Uh, yeah. So, are we ready to watch this? Yeah. Chris, you ready? Yeah. All right. Let's do it in three, two, one, and go. The soul still Sick. burns. <laughs> Just leave me alone already. I'm gonna hit Killick right in the fucking head with that thing. <laughs> Rude boy. Okay, I'm glad they do the, uh, the camera stuff that you see in a lot of new fighting games too, where 
during a huge hit, the camera moves. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Peel got what? Uh, there's a lot of like minute things they're doing to fighting games to kind of make them feel. Uh, are the cops here to get fucking sick played or what? Yeah. <laughs> He's gonna turn into nightmare. Let's let's fucking book him, boys. <laughs> Foreshadowing. <laughs> I don't get it. Uh, yeah, so that's Siegfried. I'm actually really... Uh, I said this before, but like with every reveal we get, I get a little more excited. Because like when they first showed it off, it was like Nightmare and fucking Sophia, And I was like, cool, but it's looking kind of basic. Like, fucking, I'd like to see more. Now that I'm seeing more and more people I recognize start to feel like Soul Calibur. And, like, I don't know. I'm, I'm getting stoked. Like, fucking, I'm glad to see so many... Because they're rebooting, and I was worried, like, you know, who's coming back? Who's not? So far, like, it's got a really good roster. I'm still waiting for Valdo, though, and Astroth. And Yoshimitsu. Yep, yep. And Yoshimitsu. I mean, we can name the whole roster off, but, like... I, I'd be really weirded out if uh, Astroth or Valdo, because we're not seeing any of like the darker characters. Really, we're seeing a lot of all the lighter ones. Minus Nightmare. Sure. Well, and Siegfried's a piece of shit, but because he killed his own dad, lobbed his head off. But uh, but yeah. So, so he's Arthas. Yes. Pretty much. <laughs> Cannons crossed. <laughs> um, Geralt and Arthas are both in Soul Calibur. You heard it here first. <laughs> I'm gonna start that rumor. Oh, uh, what do you guys think? It looked cool. Um, what do you think I, about the cops in the game? That was a surprise. <laughs> I was not expecting that. I got uh, scared. I'm, I thought they were outside. I'm, I'm to jump not up sure how I feel about their presence in the game. <laughs> as, long, as long as they fucking, as long as they're not brutal. Well, everyone they're trying to book is fucking more brutal. So yeah, get their ass beat. So they have to be brutal. Yeah, brutal boys. 2018. Um, these character reveals are cool and all, and I, I like knowing who's going to be in the game, but I really need to like, for me to get excited about it, I, I need to see like the actual like gameplay features and, and whatnot. Um, mm -hmm. just to see if I'm, mm -hmm. I'm going to buy it mm -hmm. day one or price drop. So day one, dude, even if it looks like <laughs> shit, I'm going to buy it as I get really stoked or really pissed. I'm going to try to avoid the, the latter there. How so. fucked up is that? That my dedication to that brand, they could release a sh I played five. I didn't like it. And fucking, they could release the newest one. I'm going to buy it. They're getting my money no matter what, which sucks because if it's bad, they still got my money mm. and it's going to happen. I'm not going to talk myself out of that. Addiction, you fucking nuts. Baby. Huh? Addiction, baby. <laughs> Pretty much. I'm just holding on to the fucking, it's like when people are like, they're ruining my childhood. Like, you know, it's whatever. But like, my, my nostalgia for that game is so fucking just like deeply ingrained in me. I'm, I'm like, just be good. Just fucking be good, please. For Seth, the soul still burns. Dude, the fucking soul still fucking hurts when I inject the new games in. I still do it anyway. No matter the price. Chris, what are your thoughts? Um, it's nice to see the original characters coming back to the game. Um, and the models look really well done. And I like, like you were saying, that the camera angles change during certain hit motions. Um, it gives me kind of a, kind of like a Tekken-ish feel with the, with the slow motions, like when the hits happen, when they're really close to each Same other, company. which is really nice. What? <laughs> he said that so quiet, I barely fucking heard it. <laughs> Goddamn, being oh. the same company whisperer. Oh. <laughs> I mean, but... It's nice to see that they have that. I like that element. I like the close call um, and the critical finishers, which are really nice to see each character. Because you don't really see them done very often in games because the critiques for doing them are really high. Um, but it's fun to see. Like summoning Shenron in Dragon Ball Fighters. What? Mm -hmm. You can collect the Dragon Balls while fighting while doing certain things. And if you get all seven, you get to make a wish. Oh, mm -hmm. that's kind of cool. Someone actually did. Did you ever play tournament. that game? A little bit. <laughs> I know you bought it. I did. I just um, like and I, I you had it, it and then never. I never saw it again. No, it, it's a fun game, but it, about tech it really it. emphasizes online play. Mm -hmm. You got it's got the chippies though. Yeah, they're dope. That's the menu though. Everybody's the same fucking chippies though. Eh, not anymore. When I play, they're all fucking. 
There's no Yamcha. There is. No, nobody picked him though. I did. Oh, I bet you they would now. I was Yamcha since he's fucking Lord yeah. Yamcha on Twitter. Yamcha gets a lot of hate. I love that guy. So Yam- just, Yamucha. So does fucking Bandai Namco's Twitter account. Yeah. Why? But he's Lord Yamcha. <laughs> Stupid. I hate it. <laughs> I like the guy. That's fucking dumb. Um, what were we talking about? Soul Calibur. Tekken. Oh. Fucking, I bought Tekken and I played it one day and I stopped. And it was fine. Why'd I buy it? So they'll make more Tekkens for you to buy? Let me know in the comments why I buy it. Um, <laughs> anything else you guys want to talk about on their Soul Calibur? No. Are you in the same page as Chevy? You're going to wait, wait it out and see for pr- price job? You're not interested in it? You're going to buy it first day like me? I really like Soul Calibur, um, I love but. It. I need to see more um, of what's going to happen gameplay wise because the last couple ones have not been quite what I was looking for. I bought them, but they're just not quite exactly what I was looking for. They're all good except for five. I want a character creator like four, but I won't hold my breath. I like the the character creator, but around the time they made that, specifically in four and into five, all the fucking character models look like they were made in it too. Like Keelik mm-hmm. and fucking mm-hmm. Maxi had the same face. Mm-hmm. Just one had a scar and one didn't. I was like, what the fuck is this? Were we at fucking build a bear? <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> like I said, I won't hold my breath for it, but I would I would appreciate it to be in there. I think we'll be in there. Maybe. If not, whatever. Man, I don't know. I remember seeing the game for the first time, and I was like, man, this game looks like it's still in development. Ain't looking that great yet, but I, I fucking, I'm going to buy it anyway, so who gives a shit? Less of the comments. What do you think about Soul Calibur? What do you think about Siegfried? Are you excited for him? Who do you want to see next? Uh, do you want to see Vol- Volvo and uh, Astronaut? And all your other favorite buddies from... Soul Calibur and friends, let us know. Um, all right, next video is a game that I didn't even know existed until a little, little like a day ago. Because uh, I saw this video pop up. I'm like, what the fuck is that? There is a game coming out called Warhammer 40k Inquisitor Martyr. It's quite the name. Warhammer 40k Inquisitor Martyr. That does not roll off the tongue. But it is a game coming out for PC and PS4 so far. It is a Diablo type game from what I read. It's going to have a campaign for single player and it's going to have a multiplayer that's separate where you're going to be able to play uh, with your friends and a bunch of random shit and get loot and all that stuff like Diablo. I think you'll be going through all the campaign stuff too, but I think it's supposed to be story driven because in one of the little uh, uh, videos I watched, it's not this one, it showed him controlling a mech that he was in. Okay. But yeah, so let's have all the stuff that like Diablo has, stuff like that. This is a 15 minute video of PS4 Pro uh, gameplay. Um, and yeah, it's going to be four player co op, like I said before, pretty much Diablo. Uh, someone on Twitter was like, uh, what, did, what genre have these guys not done? Because every Warhammer game is like an RTS, a fucking. Real, well, I almost said real time strategy. That's what an RTS is. Uh, <laughs> third person shooter, fucking Left 4 Dead game, uh, Total War, all that kind of shit. So, uh, anything you guys want to say on, on this? It sounds terrible. Where is it so I can get rid of it from other people? You're going to get rid of it from them? It's scary. <laughs> <laughs> Chris, thoughts? Anything? More Warhammer. Yay. Hey. All right, let's go in three, two, one, and go. We identified the demonic contagion in the zone. Samples indicate warp infested unknown pathogens. Now it is your field. People in the comments were bitching about this game's frame rate fucking dropping though in this video. They're like, oh, good job, guys. So if it looks kind of choppy, that's why. So obviously, this is in. 40k, so it's like the future Warhammer stuff. Kind of gives me an Aliens vibe. Yeah, I mean, they're deep space marines. Yeah. I'm also exciting chaos agents on PS4. 
sci-fi top-down vision like this. Guns. It's uh, oh. it's um, not alienation. It's uh. That might be it, actually. That might be alienation. Yeah. Yeah. The one we played, yeah, I think it's alienation. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And the hell divers. Mm -hmm. I'd like to see them make another one of those. So it has like macros, all that shit. So even though it does, this is PS4, so it's gonna probably play like a twin stick shooter. But on PC, I'm assuming it'll play just like Diablo. But uh. Again, with the Soul Calibur thing, fucking, I already want to buy this. I haven't really seen a whole lot on it. I'm really bad with money. <laughs> Just like, oh, it's a Diablo type game. Okay, here's my money. I almost bought that Van Helsing game, but then, uh. I didn't. Luckily. So it's Diablo where everybody's the demon hunter. Yeah, you're killing heretics. I just mean, like, you're all ranged. Oh. Um, maybe. I mean, you might have, like, one of those space marine dudes who has, like, the chainsaw and shit. Chainsaw swords. True. I mean, like, what are those assholes doing up there? That guy's, like, punching shit. He's swinging. I mean... Yeah? Yeah, they have a sword. Yeah. I- yeah, I bet there's different types of... That'd be crazy if they're all shooters. Otherwise, yeah, it pretty much would be alienation. I'm actually kind of I'm stoked that this is like already planned for PS4, because I think PS4 needs more games like this. I agree, though I probably would buy a game like this on PC. PC, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. This does look a lot like Diablo on PS4. I've watched Frank play a lot of it, and nothing against it, but it just doesn't. It's just not the same. I had so many people when that first came out on PS4, they're like, dude, you gotta buy it on PS4. I'm like, why? I already own it on PC. And they're like, no, dude, like, that doesn't have roll, though. Like, there's a roll in the PS4 version. You gotta get it for that. And I was like, I'm not spending 60 fucking dollars for a roll? <laughs> what the hell's your problem? I'm not starting over. D yeah, I mean, that's, the, that's, the bigger, <laughs> that's the bigger issue if we we're gonna get deeper into that conversation, but it didn't go beyond the roll. So what are they doing up there? What is that dial? I have no idea. That person in the top right does kind of remind me of a demon hunter. There's a lot of weird shit flying out of him. <laughs> These hit point pools are pretty huge though. Yeah. They look like... They're champion monsters, that's why. Mm. And they might have a shield, it looks like, or is that their... Yeah, they have a shield as well as health. Oh, okay. I do like that, uh, that swarm missile thing that keeps shooting off. Mm. That's another thing, too, that, that, that I'm finding interested about this, is like it's a sci-fi Diablo-type game, which is not really something we really get. Where's the mage character? The cloak. Yeah. Damn. It's just point blank minigun. I don't know if I'm gonna blindly buy this game, but if it even gets like a six, I'm buying it. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean that's fair. I mean I'm, I, th I think, in an opposite factor, I, I'm already planning on buying this. If it gets like a four, I'll probably go. Probably shouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> I bet a lot of people who have gotten tired of like the same thing over and over again with Diablo are gonna want to play this game. Yeah. When Warhammer has like a really like quiet big group of people who are into it, like they don't say shit until you mention Warhammer, and then they're like, "Oh!" and then they start <laughs> saying a lot of stuff. <laughs> Otherwise, they're like, "Shh, don't say anything about it." I mean, I used to play. I used to read a lot of Warhammer. I used to have like the manuals and a lot of figures. I never actually played the game, but I had everything to do play the game. It's an expensive ass game to play. I've been intrigued by it. every. Every game iteration I play, I always look at a lot of the stuff, and it reminds me of, like, the 80s, but, like... Um, it's so expensive. But, like, the world seems interesting. I mean, Vermintide, I think, not only is a fun game, but I think the world is really neat. The world is very intriguing. 
Especially when I played the first game, like just how huge the fucking cities are. Not like, like population wise, but like buildings that are like so tall they're like fucking hanging and shit forward and stuff. How everything is gooey. It definitely gives, like you were saying, aliens, like colonial space marines vibe to it. Yeah. Well, just any kind of dark ship with, like, grates and low light and shit like that. I'm always like, was this Ridley Scott? <laughs> James Cameron? That frame rate drop. Not a good yeah. promotional tool for the PS4 Pro. I'm sure it's just like the game because it's, in, you know, being, still being made, so. That and, like, whatever, whoever recorded this might have had shitty, a shitty setup, especially if it's like, like some kind of live event. Stuff like mm -hmm. that happens all the time. This game's so advanced that even your PS4 Pro can barely play it. That's how good it is. <laughs> Yeah, it looks like you're gonna you're gonna want this game. There's a lot of enemies. There's a lot of enemies on screen, yeah. <laughs> and they're not even like blasting through them like you would in like Diablo where you use one move and everything just fucking blows up. Mm -hmm. So I actually kinda like that. Although I'm sure later in the game you'll just murder. Well, usually when games have like that, there's a lot of like CC options. Mm -hmm. As you can see he's like pushing them back as he shoots them. There's a lot, though. They're not going down very fast. So he's backing up and shooting. That guy manifests ammo from the ether. Yeah, I the mean, ether rounds, dog. It's the future. It's Warhammer, it's, nope. ether rounds. It's it's the year 40,000, all right? Give it, give it a break. That's the 40k means. The gun actually creates ammo from the molecules in the air. He's carrying 40,000 bullets. There's magic in this game. Those chaos beasts come from magic, all right? Mm-hmm. Where does fucking... Where does buddies go? One of them's dead. He left them. <laughs> I would say, I remember there was four of these guys, and now it's just him. There's three. One of them is hiding in a corner somewhere. Oh, that's a good spot. It's a good tactic. Hide and let them fight everything. And then just get all the experience. Look at all this yeah. loot on the ground that I didn't have to earn. <laughs> you guys are great. Look at all this there's, loot for me. So there's the dead guy. That's where while they're fighting, you go look for chests. <laughs> the boss. Hey, boss. Hey, boss. Oh, I just saw have more friends. And let's just back up all the way again. Angel of death. Yeah, they're never gonna get anywhere in this game to keep going back. It's forward, move Definitely forward. Boss. Yeah. What's the ring around them? I think that's his range. Uh, oh, shoot. yeah, that would make sense. I would say it's subtle enough, but I mean, it's there, so obviously it matters. You guys have to tone down the difficulty level. You're not ready for this. Oh, the gunner's doing fine. Look at their hit points. Oh, sure. He's running away all the way like eight rooms back. It's that grind. He's running away like a baby. Where's the fourth person? Hiding with all the treasure chests. And then people are like, because he keeps fucking opening them. They're like, oh, was there anything good in there? He's like, oh, no, not really. Well, what was in there? I don't know, shit. Now they're melting him. That reminds me of the, the chicken beast. Chicken bone beast from Vermintide. Chicken tongue. And dead. Bye. Ooh, yeah, I learned a, a thing from Diablo there when it comes to 
when loot drops. It has to be fucking. Mm -hmm. It might be oh. options they're working on, or has, the guy doesn't have turned on or something. What if this game comes out tomorrow? I would not buy it. I would. I, I would you, let you buy it and then tell me how it is. I, I will definitely do that. <laughs> I'll go. It's not well made, but it's addicting because there's loot. Or I'm going to go, this game is great, buy it. <laughs> so either way, I'm sure you're going to definitely buy it. Probably. Unless it's just really fucking bad. But, but I'm looking at it right now, and it, I mean, it looks like it, it's doing what it needs to do. As long as there's loot and this, I'll play it. Inquisitor. Warhammer 40k Inquisitor Mata. Mata. You we your fucking Mata? What are you marking Mark now? Is it out? What are you, Maki, Maki Mata? This game might be inappropriate for people. Oh, it's no. Dirty out, man. Is it? <laughs> well, fuck, I gotta get it then, I guess. This is just a trailer for PS4 version. Oh, okay. Well, we're learning. This game uh, came out the 31st of August, 2017. Oh, really? Mostly positive reviews. Oh, it's early access still, though. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, because the thing I said that I saw was like from like a couple days ago. Fifty dollar early access. Mm, I don't know. Jesus. Where are the reviews at? <clears throat> it's Diablo meets 40k. If that sentence doesn't get you interested, I don't know what will. If it doesn't get you hard. I mean, that was a fair review. It's interesting. But they only played five hours, though. So when's the final version coming out? I don't know. Uh, uh, in early this. access this far, or fucking this... Like, that was a while ago. They got released. Good story, good concept, all players working together to affect the round multiplayer and the ability to crank so the difficulty uh, level ensures the game can be challenging for any gaming group. Uh, a letter from the hmm? producer says the game is scheduled to be released on May 11th. May 2018. Okay. Yeah, yeah I'll probably wait till then. I want the game to be like finished. <laughs> Although I do kind of want to get up and go buy this right now too. A labor of love from a dev team that communicates well with his player base and are committed to making a good game. Judging by the alpha, which I've already played about 350 hours, I wouldn't be Ooh. worried about investing in this game. This is a unique, unique ARPG with a genuine Warhammer 40k feel to it. Even if you're new to Warhammer 40k, the community is so friendly and helpful, it's not going to be a problem. The Emperor protects. Yeah, right. You're going to get in this game, dog. They're going to kick you and be like, get out of your noob. So it's funny, all the negative reviews are like between like 4 and 20 hours. A lot of these positive reviews are like 200, 300 hours. So they're they're playing it. Yeah. This guy has a pro and con list. Uh, lots of content. Absolutely certified brutal gameplay. One of the funnest ARPGs I've played since D3 or PoE. I can, Damn! I can see this game will have longevity. Random loot, dr loot drops, challenging. It strays away from your typical hack and slash and is unique in its own way. Co-op and PvP. Uh, graphics are nice, music and sound are cool. Runs really well for an alpha, like a triple A game fully released. Cons, I thought it was more open world than it is. It takes a while to match with some for PvE or PvP play. Would be awesome if there was a player hub like in Destiny and PoE. Maybe there is, I've only Played for two hours. <laughs> okay. Uh, Why don't you guys play this game for like an hour? Like I'm gonna write the review. Doing a review, yeah. Fifty dollars is a pretty big price tag, but uh, it's pretty high. I yeah. think it should have been thirty, but happy to support the devs because it seems like they care about the game and have promised to add more content as time goes on. Camera sometimes is annoying. Okay, so we've learned this game's been out in alpha and early access. Mm -hmm. Come out for PS4, and then it's gonna be fully released in May. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
I would say, why is this coming up if this game's been out for fucking that long? <laughs> but also, it's 2015, <laughs> man. It's what are you a, doing? It's officially launching. Yeah. Like, ARC, you know, three years after. It's crazy. You could play it. Neither of, or None of us have fucking heard of it either. Yeah, until kind now. of went right under the radar. Literally never heard of it. Um, yeah, so what do we think? It looks cool, but it doesn't take me much on these kind of games. So. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> like I said... That gameplay, loot, I'm sold. Yeah. Especially um, with a lot of the reviews saying there was plenty of loot. So Well, people are playing the game for fucking three hours, even if they're going like, oh, it's okay. Like, they're not going to play that long if they're fucking not <laughs> into it. Like It's all right. I've only played it for fucking 600 hours, dude. It's okay. I don't have a whole lot of games. I only play this by myself. Hope. No, that sounds cool. I, I think if I uh, am in the mood to play a game like this, I, I'll uh, and it's not officially released yet. I might go ahead and, and spend the money on it. Um, otherwise, I might just wait for the release. It's only a month away. Yeah, I think I want to wait on it. Just like I, I'm going to buy it 100. percent Like I'm right now thinking about buying it right now. Like after we shoot, but at the same time, God of War is coming out in a fucking week. So like, yep. I should wait on it. Wait till it's fully released. I mean, this game for us is fucking new. So like, uh, you know, I can I can wait for it to release. Mm-hmm. Um, fully um and yeah I, i'll pick it up on pc for sure just because these types of games i'm it's it's just traditional to have like the macro buttons your and hand stuff. just resting like this yeah and the mouse over here while you're slowly turning into a bigger fatter piece of shit in your chair oh yeah <laughs> yeah i know the hands are always stern and just right in place but like your body starts going under the desk <laughs> And eventually, you're just under there, and your fingers <laughs> as you take a nap <laughs> on fucking day four of your of your gameplay. Um, I'm I'm stoked for it though. Like I I I'm always really confused on why we don't have more of these types of games. I'm glad we're not at the point where like everybody's making one, but like if if they were, I'd be fucked. I think they come out at a pretty good rate because these kind now, of games usually lend themselves to hundreds of hours of gameplay. Yeah. I mean. Cracked out on Diablo three for a really long time. Mm-hmm. Path of Exile for a really mm-hmm. long time. Grim Dawn, you know, mm-hmm. um, and they they weren't necessarily like all on top of each other, which was great. So you had time to actually play all three of them. Titan Quest for all that. Yeah. Um. But yeah, yeah. It's been been a while since I played like, a new one, so I'm excited to play it. Um, I'd like to know the classes. I'm sure all the people who've been playing this since last year or whatever the fuck, um, or you could tell us all about it. Um, but I'm gonna wait on it and. Uh, yeah, I'm excited. I'm going to play it for sure. Chris. It's intriguing looking. Um, <clears throat> Diablo S games are always fun. They do, like you said, lend themselves to great lengths of time to order to play them um, if they're done well. Um, but I'd have to see, I think, a bit more than what we've seen so far. More of like, you know, characters and like how the equipment works and like, you know, if it changes your appearance because I'm a cosmetics whore. If they can wear uh, unicorn outfits. I wouldn't be opposed to that. <laughs> What's going to end up happening is like me and Seth are going to be playing. Like, this is amazing. Chris has to play it. And then Chris is going to open up Steam. And he's going to be like, God damn it, you guys. Guess I'm playing it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll no. say if it's more than two player fucking. Yeah, it's going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> Got to have more people. Uh, yeah, it does look really intriguing, and I do like Warhammer. Um, I should preface that I haven't really done much into Warhammer 40k, um, more of like traditional Warhammer, but I know a little bit about 40k, and its background of lore and history is pretty goddamn insane. I played the third-person shooter Space Marine. Mm-hmm. Was it good? You dress like Mega Man, only bigger, and you got a chainsaw sword, and you fucking shoot people. The, like a fucking a big ass box like, and then you just Gears of War uh, way better way better than Gears of War and people say that game is bad a Space <laughs> Marine game so <laughs> take from that what you will uh, anything else? no All right, I'm gonna go pleasant go. surprise I'm gonna go buy this right now uh, list on the comments what do you think about this game? Have you already been playing this game for like fucking three years? Uh, is it worth buying? Like sell me on it because I'm already sold. But fucking just be like, hey, Seth, you really should just go buy it. Or be like, hey, I played this fucking six years ago. It's awful. Don't play it. I'm still going to buy it probably. I also so. want to know how you played it six years ago. Just they curious. developed it. Yeah. 
They made they, it. They're the developer. It's awful. Don't <laughs> the de- buy the it. The developer found this <laughs> channel and he's just watching us. And he's like, I like what they're saying. I like what they're saying. Don't buy it, though. It's not good. <laughs> Thanks for the compliments, but I made a horrible fucking game. This is literally my monster. I've made a mistake. Made a terrible mistake. <laughs> made a big mistake. Yeah, so let's know what you're thinking about that. And last video we're going to be watching is... Um, a video that was released for God of War, uh, talking about, uh, I believe, combat. The trailer is called Fight Your Way. Uh, but before we get into that, uh, let's talk real quick. The embargo got lifted for God of War, and the reviews have been fucking insane. I say everyone has a raging heart on. Yeah, Metacritic, even though it's not like a good standard to go off of, uh, is saying everybody's got a boner and going fucking crazy. But uh, but yeah, it's it's like at ninety four right now. Mm. Very high. Um, a lot of tens, like straight up tens. tens IGN gave him a fucking ten. A couple of nine point fives. So. Yeah, uh, really high. Um, some guy said positive things about the game while throwing a bunch of other games under the bus, and people fucking went nuts on him. And uh, he became a meme, and then he uh, blocked me on Twitter because I was <laughs> being Seth, being me. Yeah, um, it's my first Twitter block. But uh, <laughs> also, uh, the hype's so insane that the people are fucking trying to eat each other now over it. So I gotta say, I I know that I saw um, Phil Spencer and oh, yeah. Spawn Entertainment yep. um, both congratulate Santa Monica yep. on the the good review scores. So and people are flipping Xbox shit. And I'm just like, yeah, I get that. But like Phil Spencer's always been like a cool dude when it comes to that shit. Yeah. So I try not to like whenever I talk about Xbox, I never even I don't talk about him because that guy seems like a cool dude. Um, he he works for what, what's he supposed to do? Like fucking go. God, Xbox sucks, guys. It's like fucking, going up, like asking Reggie if Nintendo sucks. You know, dude, Reggie will sell you a fucking a rock, and you're gonna <laughs> want it real bad. <laughs> Reggie's like, we got a, a great rock coming out. It's the great, best rock. Great lineup you've of never, games. You've never even seen one like, like this before. Mario and Zelda. <laughs> now you're going to have Mario in Zelda. <laughs> I don't think Link's going to like that. <laughs> Made of cardboard for $150. And you're going to want it. Uh yeah um so anyway the fucking hype <laughs> hype is insane people are killing each other over it they're that excited uh everyone's a god of war now and uh yeah it's insane i fucking i can't wait to play this yeah. i'm gonna buy first day it's coming out a week from now um supposed to be the story supposed to be really good fucking everybody's saying that like you know the one note character of kratos is like a, a deep character uh his kid atreus that's his name right hmm yeah, he's supposed to be really good. I guess like you level him up too. Like you get perks and he gets affected by those. So he's your turret. Pretty much. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Combat. Everybody's still saying that like the, the axe is like really fucking just like feels great to throw at people, uh, which I was hearing way before, but now everybody's still, you know, repeating that. So really fucking excited about this. I kind of hate that the embargo got lifted a week out because the hype's so fucking big that I'm like, I want it right now. But I can wait. Um, but yeah, what, what are you guys' thoughts on it before we watch the video? Go ahead. Sure. Yay. Man! Uh, uh, God of War. Uh, you can officially call Kratos daddy now. Yep. Yep. <laughs> That's what you got out of it. <laughs> He's got the beard and everything. I would say, fuck God of War trailer, and you're just like, mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Beard. Daddy. <laughs> What'd you think of it? Well, he's a daddy. And I can call I him that, and I will. Senses of the word. <laughs> um, yeah, anything else before we watch this? <clears throat> I, I'm just excited that, uh, that people are, are saying so much positive not just the story aspect, but like the gameplay aspect, because a big problem I had with older God of War games was they were um, way button mashy, and like if you didn't dodge right, you were dead. Like and that, was, that was the combat. So mm-hmm. um, even from the the clips we've watched, even in the past and whatnot, the combat seems more like you're involved. There's things going on. Yeah. You're not just insta dying from stupid shit. Um, and I, I did see some pictures um, on Twitter. It seems like some of the uh, 
crazy finishing animations are still there too. So which yeah. is kind of cool. And they, they also said that the scale of this is bigger than, than any of them have been, which is kind of hard to imagine. It's hard to imagine because you fucking you're, climb on top of... Uh, you're on like a walking island fighting yeah. enemies on it, it. It's the... Uh, oh, Jesus Christ. What are they called? It's the big one. Someone is going to know in the comments. Yeah, so let's know. Drawn blank, but yeah, there's the gods and then there's the blank, which I can't remember the name of, which are like the original gods of the earth and whatnot. So. Um, Colossus? Oh, I think it no. Titans? Titans. Titans. Yeah, yeah, Titans. Okay. I said Colossus because I thought of Clash of the Titans and I was like, Colossus? <laughs> um, also, another thing that's really interesting is... Uh, Colin Moriarty uh, said on Twitter, he's talking about how um, uh, this is not only like a triumph for the studio making a great game, but it's a triumph for the studio in general because after they made, uh, I forgot what that God of War was, but they made one after three, Ascension or something like that, mm -hmm. and it did not do well. And it actually hurt the company. There's like a lot of layoffs and shit, and they've been struggling. So this is absolutely going to get them like fucking back on track. No, that's great to hear. So uh, it's kind of like a, not quite an underdog story, but like they, they hit rock bottom there for a little bit. So uh, it's good to see them triumphant again. Yeah. So yeah, let's watch this video. You ready, Chris? Yep. In three, two, one and go. This God of War game is definitely the biggest one we've ever made. There's a lot of content, and we wanted to make sure that out of all the players playing it, everybody plays it a different way. We just want players to have choice. We want players in the game with a different Kratos as somebody Upgrade else's Kratos, son. even though they're still Kratos. Oh, different armors. What we wanted to do is oh, people sure are saying that the, the blue dude, I think, is a really cool player, character tool, too. They're saying he's like one of the best side characters they've had in the game in a long time. I've seen his name a couple times, um, and I still can't fucking kind of his remember reactions, it. The cool downs, blue boy. All of those things are factors that you can have game, control over. Oh, yeah. The core of him will be always in the game in terms of what he feels like, what he what he can do, how strong he is. We wanted to make sure that there was enough options there that the players could customize them to whatever they like doing. As the game continues, you'll gain new abilities for your axe. There's a skill tree that you'll be able to use to, to give yourself more axe abilities or more uh, bare hand abilities. Or maybe you want to you know improve your defensive capabilities and block and parry. Oh, I can't wait to play this. You want to go into shield skill tree and kind of yeah. those abilities. Someone also said that even after you beat the game, you can still like explore the game and shit and look for stuff. Everything is kind of, which is kind of nice to hear for a game little like bit this. of risk mm -hmm. reward, but it really is that kind of like balancing act that says, I prefer this, right? And sometimes the situation will also dictate it. So that while you're in the combat experience, you may realize that, oh, I've chosen a, a strength build and I'm getting hit by a character who essentially is knocking out all of my health in one hit, right? Okay, I have to rethink this and kind of, hey, I have this other piece of armor, I'm gonna swap that out. Or People I rethink my strategy. People also get a now. Dark Souls vibe this, slightly from agile, the combat now too. Away. Mm -hmm. quick and then Which is kind of interesting. That was a really smooth Basically, animation when like, he spun. Whatever you want to do, it's probably somewhere in the game. Damn. Fancy. Yeah, that was pretty fucking cool. All right, what do we think? I don't think we really needed to be sold anymore. So. Yeah. yeah. Uh, no, it looks cool. I, I'm. I'm <clears throat> clamoring to see more but at the same time i'm glad they're not i'm actually happy yeah the, a lot of the footage they showed there or at least the areas they showed was stuff we've like areas we've already seen mm -hmm. that guy with the big fucking rock thing he's swinging and like that one uh area with like the trees that he's throwing people into we already saw that so um a game like this with the amount of hype i'm hearing about like the story and stuff i'm glad we're not seeing anything on it yeah for sure that i mean would... last of us did this the same thing mm -hmm. and i was like fucking having a mental breakdown 20 minutes into that game yeah I, that's another game they're not gonna show shit for hopefully yeah so. please don't though please be at e3 this year that'd be cool there's since, a lot of games i want to see at e3 this year since the uncharted game came out they can actually talk about it now yeah so that's what they said last e3 yeah they're like we wanted to give them the spotlight yeah chris got a war um it's fancy 
It's fancy. Daddy's there. <laughs> fancy daddy. <laughs> he doesn't look I, that fancy. You see that blue armor? It was shiny. I do like, I do like how the different armor pieces change. Yeah, um, I didn't know that that was in the game. Um, uh, I was kind of hoping, and it could still be present to the just showcase it, but um, for more weapon types other than just the axe, um, but from what they were talking, it sounds like that's like the only weapon you really get to use because it has its own trees and versatility in how you, it plays. So kind of looking forward to like a little bit more weapon types. But you, it's, you can see his foot. He killed some of his foot. I'd be surprised there wasn't other weapons. There's multiple weapons in every God of War. Yeah. I don't know. Just from the way they're talking to me, it sounded like that that was the only weapon like you're getting, other than like you know, barehanded shield. I'd be I'd be surprised, but at the same time, I mean, there's no reason to really believe otherwise, except for prior iterations. But yeah. but I mean, I would hope so that there's other weapons <laughs> or at least other variants of the axe, which I'm sure there is. If they spent the time working on the armor, they're definitely spending time working on weapons. So right, sure, uh, sure. Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> you got me down myself chris that's <laughs> so what that, i do i bet that, people doubt themselves that fucking 10 out of 10 is now a fucking 9.9 .9 out of 10 9.9 9 rating a game before you play it yeah <laughs> <laughs> it's that pre-review you get that fucking s rank the triple s, triple s. Baby. coveted triple s xl <laughs> Extra large triple S. <laughs> Let us know in the comments. Uh, what do you think about God of War? Um, are you hyped for it? I'm sure you are. Uh, what do you think about what we watched? Uh, is there more than just the axe? Do you know? Uh, let us know in the comments. And let us know everything that you're thinking about. Uh, whether it has to do with this episode or whatever the fuck's going on in your life, man. Just lay it on me. I'll be in the comments. I respond to everything. If you guys address these guys, I'll let them know. And I think that's that's it. I yeah, think we're it. I think I think we're done here. Short taste cast. We're gonna we're gonna go our separate ways now. Show's over. Channel's over. Never talk to each other again. <laughs> <laughs> this is the last episode. Surprise, motherfuckers! Um, it's My a horrible life. It's a horrible surprise. <laughs> this well, isn't good at all. It's a good thing we're not getting paid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Although it sucks to not talk to you guys anymore. So. True. I'm just fuck. I'm Especially bailing. Since the two of you live together, so. Yeah. Yeah. I guess one of us is moving out, and we didn't talk about this yet. <laughs> Um, <laughs> but uh, but yeah, let's get to this episode of Taste Cast, episode fifty nine. As always, thanks for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, if you enjoy this episode. Make sure to check out our other episodes. Check us out on Tumblr, Twitter, and if you're on Twitter, don't block me. I promise, I'm friendly. Um, <laughs> just asking questions aggressively, um, aggressively, but just just answer them. <laughs> don't don't be like I'm sorry if I offended you. You didn't offend anybody, motherfucker. Um. <laughs> Uh, and, and Facebook at Tasty Loot Gaming. Check out the streams on Twitch at Tasty Senpai, all one word. Uh, hit the notification button to make sure you know when I go live. Make sure to check out Chris on Twitch at Tasty underscore Fruit. Also hit the notification button to make sure you know when he goes live. And yeah, my name's Seth. I'm Chevy. And I'm Chris. Until next episode, which will be uh, Tuesday for Tasty Tuesday. Also, I'm already working on the next review for, I think, A Way Out. And I'll be doing one for Nino Kuni 2. Once I beat that, whenever the fuck that is, idle clickers go on forever. Until then, uh, have a good weekend, guys, and take it easy.